If you're writing, I don't know, microphone. If you're writing a book with a younger protagonist, whether it's a middle grade novel, a young adult novel, an adult novel with flashbacks to the main character's youth, or an adult novel with a big ensemble cast and some of those cast members happen to be younger characters, you might feel like it's kind of hard to make them sound hip. Here's your first hint, don't use the word hip. I've heard writers claim that they listen to the way kids and teens talk to try to pick up their slang so they can emulate that in their dialogue. That's a bad idea for several reasons. One, unless this is slang that you use regularly too and you really understand what it is, you're probably not going to use it quite right and it's gonna sound super clunky. Two, it dates your book, which maybe you want your book to be dated. I mean, if you're setting your novel in the 80s, then by all means, load your book up with all the gag me with a spoon, barf me out, what's your damage? you want. But writing an authentic, realistic, younger character is about so much more than what comes out of her mouth. It's about what's going on inside her head. All you have to do is reconnect with your younger self. And if you're like most people, the quickest way for you to reconnect with your younger self is gonna be... Music. You're already here on YouTube, so go ahead and take a few seconds to find a video of a song that came out when you were eight or 11 or a senior in high school or however old your character is. Play the song all the way through. And as you listen, just free write. Do you have a specific memory of listening to this song? How did you listen to music at that age? Records, CDs, tapes? What was going on with your family, your friends at school? Most importantly, how did this song make you feel? Don't stop writing until the song ends. What did you remember about your younger self? Did you have any insights into your character? Please tell me all about them in the comments below. That's it for this video. Stay tuned next Friday for another Fiction Fix It. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications every time I post a new video. And until next time, keep writing.